What is up you guys and welcome back to another video. Now, I know I sound pretty excited being that I just got my Rivian stole yesterday and I know what you're probably thinking like how's that even possible but what it is we actually ended up selling the other property. Well pretty much we haven't got the money yet we got to go over there do a final little walk around and then they're going to sign the papers and it's going to be a done deal. We're going to get paid and we're no longer going to be the owners of the other land over here. Now that also means that we can buy the Denali. Now the 2024 Denali that we looked at yesterday is obviously still for sale. Now the owner of that truck was talking about making me a pretty good deal if I was serious about buying it. And man, once I see all this money drop into my bank account, it's gonna be so hard not to buy that truck. All right, now what we're gonna do here is gonna get backed out and we're gonna head over there to where the realtor is. We gotta meet him and kind of go over all the stuff for this whole land deal. Now, like I said, we will be gaining $145,000 from selling all of this land. Now, I think one thing, and you know, you'll hear me talk about this several times, is the fact that, man, expanding our land, I feel like really helped this place sell. Anyway, I'll catch up with you guys here in a moment when we get over there to meet the realtor. We're gonna make our right right here, make sure nothing's coming. Oh, we're cutting it close. Come on, come on, Oh six oh. Oh, we're gonna outrun them, ain't we? Oh yeah, I think we did. Okay, we are. All right. We got this thing to the floor. Let's see what we can get out of the old 6 0 before we have to stop at our shop. Dude, this thing's pulling. Oh, we gotta lock them up. Okay, okay. Hopefully, that vehicle behind us don't hit us. Anyway, here we are. We gotta act chill for the realtor here. Oh, he's already here. Okay, okay. Let me just uh, pull up right through here, just like this. All right. We wasn't doing nothing, I promise. Yep, yep. All right. Let me uh, get with him real quick. All right, now I did forget a little bit. Now he don't really like to be on camera. I did forget about that. But anyway, now we're gonna kind of do a little walk around. So this is the old shop. Now this is kind of where everything started. Go ahead and open this up. That is the old 60. Some of you guys were asking where this truck was and I just kind of had it sitting right here. You guys can see it's been just kept in the shop. We need to get this front loader out as well. Put it on the log trailer here. Um, they got a tractor out back so we can probably grab that, use that to load up the front loader. He'll probably give me a ride back over here to this old shop once we get all that taken back. So we're going to need to pick up this F-250 here in a moment. But anyway, so little final walk around here of the yard. I really think us kind of harvesting all this and using it for hay really helped this place sell. So, you know, I think that is what helped us mainly get this $145,000. Now, one thing we did do is go ahead and plant some grass that uh grows really fast. Now, I don't know if they're going to want to keep that because they are planning to put a house here. So that would have them mowing like every every week for sure weekly they be mowing weekly and this grass grows tall and it grows quick so they may have to plow all this up and replant here for sure but anyway um i'm gonna get with him real quick go ahead and sign these papers on my end do my little signing and uh yeah man we're gonna be completely done with the shop the old shop here and we will be on our way to being one hundred forty-five thousand dollars richer we're gonna crank this thing up man it sounds so good i'm gonna get back to the log trailer just like that Go and get it eased out a little bit. And I'm going to run around back real quick. Ram that tractor. All right. Now, we did manage to go ahead and get the front loader loaded up here onto the log trailer. And got the tractor put back around back. Just wanted to make sure all that was good. I think we're just about ready to haul this over to the new shop, man. Yeah, we should just be waiting on $145,000. That is, as far as what I understand, that's all that's supposed to be happening now. So, we're just going to cruise on back to the house. I'm going to keep a check on the bank account. And hopefully, we see that $145,000 come through here shortly now i'm gonna do a little bit of driving you guys and i will see you here in just a moment oh okay let me uh wait a minute yeah i do not want to get in a wreck have to invest in buying a whole nother truck with this hundred forty five thousand dollars because i mean we are gonna buy another truck it's just gonna be a 2024 denali or that's the plan you know i'm gonna call that guy actually right now talk to him set that up make sure we can meet him today if we can we're gonna head over there check out that truck buy it man and get it back to the house and then kind of go from there and make sure we don't hit these people. And they are just kind of chilling today. All right, now here we are coming back up on the house. Go ahead and get pulled in right here. Now, if you do notice, we got more than one log trailer. That's because I somehow have my buddies still. I did not take it back. So I'm gonna have to read these license plates to kind of check and see whose is whose because I do not remember on the trailers they look identical because we got them from the same place they're in the same shape pretty much so what we're gonna do and get unhooked from this right here i think that will work right there yeah that'll do we'll make sure we don't take out the four-wheeler that would not be good all right now the hundred and forty-five thousand dollars just came through 
So that means there's only one more thing left to do. Well, actually, there's a lot of stuff left to do. But one of the things that is left to do is to go buy that Denali. Now, I'm going to get on the phone with that guy one more time. Let him know that we are serious. See what we can get him talked down to. We'll kind of do that when we see him in person. I'm hoping I can get this truck for like 60K. But anyway, I'm going to get hooked up to the trailer. I'm probably just going to use the F-250 just because the Peterbilt is uh, it's kind of got something going on with the wheel. But yeah, I'm going to call the realtor real quick, see if he's just about here to pick me up, to take me back to pick up the F-250. Then when we get back, we're going to head out there and get this new truck. All right, you guys, we just got over here to the old shop. Just got dropped off by the realtor there. We're going to hop in the old F-250, get it back to the house, get a trailer. Then we're going to go meet with the guy that has the 2024 Denali, see what we can get worked out, and hopefully make the purchase on that truck. Make sure nothing's coming here. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Uh, Yep, all right. We're going to get pulled out. We're going to run this thing, man. Hurry up and get back to the house because I got a truck to go by. All right, here we are back to the house. Go ahead and make our way down the driveway. And like I said, we're going to get hooked up to the flatbed trailer. We do got to get that tractor off real quick. Now, I'm not going to be using the Peterbilt like I was saying earlier. I can't remember if I mentioned that already, but I think I did. Anyway, yeah, we got a wheel bearing that is acting up in the Peterbilt, so I got to get that changed out. But until then, we're just going to use the F-250 right here to do some of our hauling. I think it will work out just fine. It's a pretty strong truck, and it should be able to haul all this with no problem. So we're just going to get backed up right here, and this is going to be our tow truck for today. All right, got it all hooked up. We're just going to get the tractor backed off here, and let's see... Yeah, I'm just going to pull it. Mm, yeah, we'll just kind of park it down through here, man. I got to figure out where to put everything. I want to kind of get the yard and everything cleaned up, organized, so we can, you know, have everything looking pretty neat. All right, going to make our way out of the driveway right here. Oh, you guys know what I didn't think about? Yeah, we're headed in the direction where the robbery happened. Um, Kind of makes me not want to go this way for a minute. But then, man, we're just going to power through this. We're not going to let that stop us, and we will definitely not be stopping if we see anybody. I'm sorry, you know, if you're broke down on this road right now, and you're just broke down, um, yeah, uh, I'm just going to have to keep going. You know, just trust me, I, I can't stop, man. So, uh, anyway, what we're going to do, make our left right here, and we're going to get over there to where the Denali is. Now, once we buy the truck, we're not going to come back through the other way there. I kind of didn't think about it when we initially headed out, but when we buy the truck, we're going to head out towards the tractor shop there, that direction. But uh, here we are. Here's the truck. We're going to get turned in right here. Make this nice little right. And I'm going to kind of circle around, kind of use their driveway. Oh, man, I need to get them to throw in that old C10 or K10 back there. Uh, but anyway, we'll pass it up for now. I do want to come back and talk to them about that truck and possibly buy it. I don't really have to park in any certain place because the truck does run. So we can just simply drive it up on the trailer. Now, we've already test drove the truck. And it drove great, had no issues, all that great stuff. All we have to do is wait for him to get here, and then we just got to play the negotiation game. And we're going to see how far we can get him off that $70,000 mark. Now, I did get him to come down $10,000 on the truck, so we got it for a price of $60,000. Now, that brings us to a little over $145,000. As long as we're very smart with our money and manage it very well, we can turn that $145,000 easily into... 500,000, a million. We're going to invest only in things that are going to bring us great profits. Kind of slow down. This is kind of top heavy, so I do not want to wreck and total our new Denali. I'll see you guys here in just a moment when we get to the house. All right, just made it back to the house. We now are the owners of a 2024 Denali. Crazy to think we just went out and got that, and we're now bringing it back to our property. I'm going to get it backed off the trailer here, and I kind of want to cruise it down the road just a little bit because I've only drove it once, and that was yesterday, and I kind of want to see how it feels. Got the rock lights there. Yeah, okay, now they're on. I kind of messed up the switch. Anyway, so we got the rock lights going, got all the lights lit up. What would you guys like to see me do to the truck? Be sure to leave it down in the comments below. I'm thinking like either a flatbed, welding bed type style, or maybe like a dually bed. I don't know. I'm kind of really feeling that. A dually bed, you know, and do a dually setup on the truck, I think would look really, really good. Go ahead and turn around right here. Just bar our realtor's land just for a moment. I'm hoping we can actually purchase this. Maybe if he makes me a good deal, we can get something worked out. Make sure nothing's coming. Looks pretty good. We're going to head on back towards the house with the truck here. Oh, man, we got to get this thing to roll in some coal because it does not currently, and we're going to have to fix that. And just like that, you guys, here it is. We have the 2024 GMC Denali sitting in the driveway. I know a lot of you guys were very interested in this truck. And so there was only one thing left to do to go and purchase it. Well, that was after we sold the land. But anyway, all of it worked out. And here we have the truck. 
And yeah, I think we're going to wrap up today's video, though. If you guys did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.